Since the beginning of this channel, I've received a ton of questions asking me to go in-depth on some of the more important sabermetric statistics out there. Specifically, I've received several questions from you guys asking me to dive into what WOBA is. So that's what today's video is going to be about. The King statistic used to analyze offensive performance. Let's jump into it. Before we jump into it, welcome back to another video guys. If you're new here and you're a coach, player, or trainer interested in learning more about the practical applications of data-driven baseball, you've come to the right place. Join the movement now by clicking the subscribe button down below for more weekly baseball animations. To understand why WOBA is so important and effective, we first need to look into the more common statistics that are used to evaluate hitters today, starting with your classic batting average. We all know what batting average is, and to the casual baseball fan this may be about to the extent of your offensive baseball knowledge, but if you're here watching this video it's clear you are ready to understand what flaws this commonly used statistic may hold. We all know that batting average is equal to a batter's hits over their at bats. It's simple, it's been around forever, but it does have its flaws. For example, it grades all hits on the same scale, whether it's a single, double, triple, or home run, they all equal one simple number, a hit. Also, it doesn't take into account any other ways of getting on base, such as walks and hit by pitches. Is batting average a bad statistic? No. But it definitely could use some more detailed information. That leads us to OBP, or on base percentage. This stat took off during the Moneyball era as the new best way to evaluate hitters. It got rid of one of the flaws that batting average held. That is, that it didn't account for hit by pitch, walks, or sacrifice flies. However, it still graded hits on an even scale. A single isn't the same value as a home run, or even a double or a triple, but we're definitely moving in the right direction here. So to solve our all hits aren't equal issue, we turn to slugging percentage. It's a simple equation that weights each different type of hit and combines them into an easy to read way. Doubles are twice as valuable as a single, triples three times, and home runs four times. Finally, a statistic that takes into account that all hits aren't equal. But now we have the issue of leaving out our alternative ways to find ourselves on the base paths, such as our walks and our hit by pitches. Back to the drawing board. And we will end our journey on OPS, one of the best easy to calculate statistics that solves almost every single one of our issues held by the prior statistics. OPS literally stands for on base plus slugging. It takes the last two averages that we calculated and adds them together. This formula checks both our boxes. Hits all aren't equal, and we account for hit by pitches, walks, and sacrifice flies. It's perfect. Well, almost. Looking at OPS, we assume that one point of on-base percentage is equal to one point of slugging percentage. And that's just not the case. One point of OBP is actually worth about twice as much as one point of slugging. So that's why we turn to WOBA. It takes every way that you can reach base and puts a weight to it. Let me explain. To begin with, let's take a look at the equation for calculating WOBA. While looking at this formula, don't get too confused. All of these weights are calculated for you each year by fan graphs. I'll leave a link down to those in the description if you're interested in making this calculation for yourself. This equation here represents the weights from the 2019 MOB season. So why WOBA? This equation combines every single aspect of hitting, each way that you can reach base, and it gives you the most detailed and accurate full representation of a hitter's production. The most important fact about WOBA is that it properly weights each outcome. When looking at OPS, you're going in the right direction, and you'll probably arrive at the similar destination. Both WOBA and OPS provide you with a pretty accurate representation of what a hitter's production may be, but WOBA takes this a step further than OPS does by applying proper weights. The factor we talked about earlier are based on the projected run value of each action. So if you look at 2019's equation, a home run is worth just about double the weight of a single in terms of your projected run value in the equation above. And the other good thing about WOBA is based on these values, it puts it onto a scale that you already know and understand. On base percentage. If you know what a good on base percentage is, then you know what a good WOBA is. In my opinion, there's no better stat that paints an entire picture of a hitter's production than WOBA does. To give you an idea where athletes stand using WOBA, let's take a look at a chart that gives you the projected ratings based on players' WOBAs. Taking a look at the excellent category, you will find guys like Christian Yelich and Mike Trout in 2019. You move down to the great category, and this is hitters like Nolan Arenado and Anthony Rizzo. Down to your above average category, we have guys like Bryce Harper and Ronald Acuna Jr. 
and hopefully you get the point. This helps paint a picture for the caliber of the athletes within each category. The WOBA scale is a set scale that gives you a great idea on the overall production of a player. So how can it be applied? So we've talked about professional baseball and its usage of WOBA, but what about college or even high school baseball? It works pretty much the same way. If you're interested in seeing collegiate baseball WOBA, it's a stat that's recorded on Charlie Young's website that he created in his time as a student manager at the University of Illinois. I'll leave a link to his dashboard in the description down below. But for high school and college, will this statistic work? Well, yeah. It can really easily give you a good idea of where each guy ranks in either your team or even your league. But if we start to take a closer look, the scale might not always be as relevant because each level's production is going to be different. It's not on the same scale. However, WOBA is the single best offensive production statistic, and it can be used in more ways than one. You can begin to break up guys' overall production against different types of pitchers, lefties and righties. You can look at pitchers' WOBA against to see how they fare against hitters. It can also aid in lineup creation. You want guys with a higher WOBA higher up in your lineup, and so much more. This statistic is one you definitely should know in today's age of baseball, and it isn't one that is mentioned super often on your typical MLB broadcasts. So do some research on it yourself and see what you can find. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more simple Sabre metrics, please subscribe. Click the video on the left for more baseball animations or the video on the right to check out my new vlog. Leave a comment and a like down below to show your support and I will see you next Wednesday with a new baseball animation.